God and the word there is Hotios. Jesus says, my father is greater than I. I'm quoting him. My father is greater than I. He says again, my father is greater than all. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction. But before we get into this reaction, because you want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel, you're the realest MVP. So, right about now, we're going to do uh, another reaction. This one right there was suggested by a lot of people. And they suggested that we should go react to the dad at his best part one. So, without any further ado, let's get it. A DD, Doctor of Divinity. You see the word God, the first time the God occurs in that verse, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. I am asking, what is the Greek word there for God? You are a Christian of the Greek scriptures? You know Greek? You ought to know Greek? The basis of your religion? You have manuscripts, we are all in Greek. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John and the 27 books of the New Testament were only available in Greek. In the Greek language, what is the word for God? Can you help me, sir? Elohim. No, sir, that's Hebrew. <laughs> you see, person gets angry now. Because of your clapping, he's going to get angry. He's going to lose his temper. Please, let's take it easy. Please take it easy. Don't clap too much. Because you know, in the next 10 minutes, we don't want to have any fireworks here. We want peace, quiet. Uh, the word is Theos. Theos in Greek means God, and the word there is Hotios. Jesus says, My father is greater than I. I'm quoting him. My father is greater than I. He says again, My father is greater than all. He says again, I can of my own self do nothing. I'm quoting, sir. What you have been quoting, worship Mary as the mother of God. The Christians generally, they say Jesus is God. They worship him. God Almighty says that they both eat food. In other words, if you eat food, you have a call of nature. You need the toilet. And if there's no toilet, you look for the rocks or the bush. And this is not the quality of God. God doesn't go to toilets. He doesn't look for bush and rocks to excrete. He doesn't do that. This is. The verse continues. Unzur. Have a look. You see how clear we are making our signs to you. How clearly, simply we are putting facts to you. Summanzur. He said, have another look. How they have drifted away from the truth. Chapter 5, verse 78. Jesus is the Messiah, one of the mightiest messengers of God, but he's not God. As I mentioned, that we in Islam, we honor the Injil, truly. See, when we are talking about Injil, this is Injil of Jesus, the good news given by Jesus Christ. We accept Whatever Jesus gave, if you can see, confirm, verify that these are the words of Jesus, that is the Injil, Injil of Jesus. But what we have today is not the Injil of Jesus. We believe in the Injil, the Gospel of Jesus. Not the Injil of Matthew. You read any of the Bible, Arabic Bible, you say Injile Matthew, Injile Marcus, Injile Lucas, Injile Johanna. Injil of Isa, we want the Injil of Isa. Have you got it? You haven't got it. Last night I referred, was it? <laughs> oh, where, that, where does Jesus say he gave life to Lazarus? He's telling you, and he says, look, I don't want these people to misunderstand, but now we have misunderstood a thousand million Christians in the world, they all have misunderstood. They said Jesus gave life to the dead. 
he doesn't say that. Is God working through him? And Peter, the greatest of the disciples, Jesus had appointed him. He says, Peter, he's given the keys of the heavens. Peter, feed my flock, feed my sheep, and my followers. This Peter, in the book of Acts, he says, he says, ye men of Israel, O Jews, he's talking to the Jews, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him. Who did it? Look, unless Peter is lying and the Holy Spirit that is inspiring him is lying. Which God did by him in the midst of you which you yourself also know. Who did it? God. The power is there. You put on the switch. The power comes on. You didn't supply that electricity. It's coming from the powerhouse. Similarly, in very short, in the Old Testament, we was taught that eye by eye, teeth by teeth, revenge, etc., etc. We grew up, Jesus came, he taught us all of these things, if you might know, and I'm quite sure you know. But let me inter you know, interrupt this sisters and I'm ask you one question before. You said that you believe in God. This God has character. He knows the future. He knows the past, he knows the presence, he doesn't change his mind. Do you agree? I go on. Jesus came, and I'm quite sure that what I'm saying here, you find in any of these books, and you might find it in Quran too. Jesus came and taught us, if one slapped you on the right cheek, give him the left one. Sympathy, mercy, no violence, love, shalik. He taught us, if one asks you to go a mile with him, go too. If he asks you your coat, give him your dress. When he asked his uh, disciples, Larry Younger, to go and preach in the world, he told them, go and preach my word in peace, no violence. If they accept your word, take it. If they don't take it, go and go on. Why after five, no, sorry, 600 years, the God whom you believe, and I do, how he changed his mind again? He tells me, the one who hits you, hit him again. Go and preach in my name. And if they don't accept my name and my word, kill them. If your wife missed, if your wife does it unfaithful to you, kill her. Kill, punish, kill, punish, hate, hate, hate. Thank you, he sir. He raised me up. Question. Why you take me very much down again? Sir, your question is clear. Thank you. Silence, please. Thank you. Well, here's some more hot steam. The brother said, Islam says, the teaching of Jesus was turning the other cheek. If a man takes away your coat, give him your cloak also. Agree with thine adversary quickly, Jesus said. Before they take you before the magistrate and make you to pass with your last farthing. But now you said God doesn't change his mind. But he had given you a law, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You are a Christian today. From your question, I make out you are a Christian. Right. But now God changed his mind. Didn't he change his mind? First was eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Now he's telling him, you resist not evil. When a man hits you on the right cheek, give him the other. He changed his mind. He changed his mind according to your Bible. Wait a minute. And then again, he told you, God told you, that whosoever puts away his wife, let him give her a bill of divorcement. But Jesus said, but I say unto you, Whosoever puts away his wife, save for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. And whosoever marries her that is divorced committed adultery. He changed his mind again. And he's changing his mind continuously. But you said God doesn't change his mind. Now, you will have to account, or the pastor will have to account for that, not me. When you say, make allegation against the Quran, the Quran says that if anybody does not accept Islam, chop off his head, kill him. Here is the Quran, and you have up to 10 o'clock to find that verse and show it to us. I'll read it for the people. What do you think? Mm. I think it's... Uh, he was talking about... Um, 
At the beginning, he was explaining about what? What exactly? I didn't really get it in the beginning, but um, let's go to the guy who asked the question about um, the Bible says, not, not the because there's an Old Testament and New Testament. The, I think Old Testament says an eye for an eye, whatever the thing. And then on the New Testament, says uh, Jesus says, somebody hits you on the face, you give, it, uh, you give him the other side. If uh, someone wants this coach, you give him the shot and stuff like that. And then he goes on and saying that, uh, what do you call this? The Quran says that if someone steals, chop up the arm, kill, or what, I was getting angry and stuff like that. I mean, these are two books that they have their own uh, their own teachings. You get it? I'll not say like the Bible, like what Jesus was doing. That's wrong. I wouldn't say that in the Quran. That's wrong. If you follow the Bible, follow it and follow it in the right way. You get it? If you follow the Quran, follow it in the right way. But um, the guy really wanted the answer. That why is it that? Where the Quran says kill, kill and what's something like that. I don't know, maybe you guys can explain to us much better. Like why does it say that if someone steals, I've happened to stay with some Muslims and if you steal, they chop off your hand, probably if you stole in the left hand, I don't know if the left hand or the right hand, they chop off your left hand or something like that. And then if you steal you again, them do that? no, like I had it from my friends, I had it from my friends. So just clarify to me if that's correct or if it's not correct. I don't know. Yeah, but basically, I mean, they have different type of teaching. Sometimes you have similarities. I mean, you will find different similarities in these books. But at the end of the day, people who believe in the Bible let them follow what they believe in. People who believe in the Quran let them believe in what they the, the Quran is teaching. I mean, for me, I don't want to go and say like, no, the Bible is not. Why would someone slap you and then give um, give him the other cheek? Anyway, if, for example, today if someone slaps you, will you give him the other cheek? One slap is enough. It's really hard for for someone to give out the. I mean, it's not it's, it's not that logic to give someone the other cheek. Also in the on, also on the other side, if someone steals, why cut off the hand? You get it. I mean, still. I don't know, probably those teachings have meaning. Maybe you can let us know what does it mean in the Quran if someone steals. Maybe if someone's what you have to kill or you have to not kill actually. Maybe chop off the hand or something like that. I don't know if it's in the Quran that when someone steals you have to cut off the hand. Uh, anyway guys, if you feel like we reacted to even a better way, just give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction. And what do you feel about... Um, this uh, a video right here of the dad at his best part one just let us know and we need to I mean just clarify the things that we've talked about is it true that in uh, probably is it written in the Quran that if someone probably does something to you have to do it to do the same thing to him or if someone steals they have to chop their hand off or something like just let us know in the comment section also let us know if uh, is it by Quran or by law I don't know, I, I, probably it's by law, that's why I need clarification or something like that. And the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel, the more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a lot, a lot of content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video and peace out.